Eagles defensive tackle, one of the best who's ever played, Indomitian Sue and his wife Katya recently launched their Sue Family Foundation. And it works hand in hand with communities across three pillars education, health, and empowerment. The time has arrived. The Sues are joining us. Look at this beautiful couple right here. Welcome once again to Philadelphia. How's the city treating you guys? Hi. It's doing great. Uh, obviously, a, an amazing town and a sports town at that, but great people are all around the city, so we're, we're excited to be here and, and immersed in the city. And folks are excited that you're here because in Dominican, it was so interesting when you tweeted out, hey, where should I go eat in Philly? <laughs> I mean, you were inundated with responses. How is your food tour going, and have you had a chance to try out any favorites? Uh, Zahab has been a favorite of mine. Uh, Double Knot I want to get to. Ooh. I've heard a lot of great things about. Uh, I'm waiting to hopefully we, we can earn this first round by in the playoffs and then I can indulge in some Philly cheesesteaks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Katya, uh, how many, what's the weirdest way somebody has said your husband's name? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, probably the weirdest, because it's Indomitian. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pro probably I've heard in Damu Kong. It, a lot of people say with a Kong at the end of it is uh -huh. what they mostly uh, pronounce that way. So I try to just say Indomitian or just call him Sue. Where'd you two meet, <laughs> Katya? Uh, in college. So um, I played basketball at the University of Nebraska, um, and he played football and... Rest is history. Corn Huskers! Oh, I love it. So cute. <laughs> and you have such a beautiful family, Katya. You have twins, Thank right? You. Yes, yeah, two twin boys. They are huge, to say the least. I'm six feet and he's six four, almost six five, so they are quite oh. big. <laughs> we're looking well, look at a at picture of that now. postcard right there. How beautiful oh. is that? <laughs> and we're excited that you're here. We're excited for your foundation as well. What prompted you to start this? Uh, it's been honestly something that is very prevalent in our family. My mom being a school teacher, uh, as well as Katya's family being in the, in the school district as well. We always understood education was something that's very important for us as a family. But as we've gotten into this real world, uh, it's thing most important piece is being able to have those baselines of financial literacy. Uh, and our youth is definitely not having that aspect provided to them to uh, in their schoolings, whether that's high school, middle school, let alone even getting to college. So that's why we wanted to partner with Intuit uh, to be able to create this national program and that we can go across the country and be able to teach these, uh, the youth as well as uh, and get involved in their families and their communities. I'm mm -hmm. so thankful the two of you do. When I was growing up, I didn't know anything about money. Mm -hmm. I, I, I yeah. still don't. Uh, Katya, why is that so important to both of you? Well, you know, I think after we had our children, not only did we pre-kids have this passion, but with our children, we really wanted to pave the way. I think that's one thing as we continue to become fortunate and learn more from our own mentors, we wanted to be able to have that trickle-down effect. And then we realized not just for our own children, but for our communities. And so I think that it's one of the things that finances is such a hard topic to have. Um, a lot of couples don't even talk about it, let alone family. And so if we're able to teach our children, the children in um, school districts and our own kids, our hope is that they go home and they say, hey, mom and dad, hey, grandma and grandpa, guess what I learned today? And then the hope is, is that grandma and grandpa and, and mom and dad would say, oh, wait, really? And we're kind of yeah. continuing that education, not only with the children as they continue to grow, <laughs> but also within their families as well and opening that conversation um, yeah. so that we can all learn more. Across different generations. Yeah. I love that. We 